use it. First, look at the display. Green and red light, scanning window, power on key, override keys cover. The inside unit includes attaching screw hole and an inside turning knob. Turning the battery cover, you will see the attaching screw hole, battery compartment, save key, green and red light, and delete key. Before using, you must properly position your fingerprint. On the center of the scanning window, place finger flat with slight pressure and don't move during the saving and matching process. Following is the wrong way to press the fingerprint. Now I'll explain more about its operation. First, how to store a fingerprint. There are two management levels of 15 users, 30 fingerprints for two administrators and 13 users. Administrators can lock, unlock, remove, and enroll new users. Users can only lock and unlock the door. There is no fingerprint on manufacturer setting. Press power on to unlock the door. Next, let's see how to store an administrator's fingerprint. With door closed, press power on key. Notice the green light. The door is unlocking now. Press store key for three seconds to store fingerprint. Administrator's fingerprint on the scanning window. When the red light turns off, remove fingerprint. When the red light turns red again, store fingerprint for the second time. When the green light blinks, the storing process is successful. After the administrator stores fingerprint successfully, the system is power off. Once administrator stores successfully, you must verify it. Press power on. A red light blinking indicates to put administrator's fingerprint on the scanning window to verify the fingerprint. When the green light is blinking, the storing process is successful. If the red light blinks, the storing process failed. After the administrator's prints match successfully, it goes into functional operation. Without any operation within four seconds, the system will power off. For storing the second administrator's fingerprint, follow the same operation as above. Now I will explain how to store a user's fingerprint. Press power on. The administrator must put their fingerprint on the scanning window to verify the fingerprint. As green light blinks, administrator's fingerprint matches successfully. Before the system powers off, press save key for about three seconds. The system goes into store mode. As the red light blinks, user puts his finger on the scanning window to scan fingerprint. After the red light turns off, remove finger. When the red light blinks again, store the finger for the second time. When the green light blinks twice, it means the fingerprint stored successfully. Red light means failure. We advise, after storing the user's fingerprint, exit the system at once and re-log on to verify its efficiency. Then go into the next step to store others. During the storing process, if the red light blinks three times, the system indicates fingerprint memory is full. The following will show you how to delete fingerprints. First of all, see how to delete user's fingerprint one by one. Press power on key. Red light will blink. Administrator should put his finger on the scanning window to match fingerprint. When green light blinks, administrator's fingerprint matched successfully. The system goes into operation mode. Press delete key for three seconds. Green light blinks twice. The last user's fingerprint was deleted. Press delete key continuously in turn to delete users' fingerprints one by one. When the red light blinks three times, all users' fingerprints are deleted. If necessary to delete all users' fingerprints, press power on, red light will blink. Administrator puts his finger on the scanning window to match fingerprint. When the green light blinks, administrator verifies fingerprint matched successfully, the system goes into operation mode. Press store and delete key at the same time, about three seconds. When the green light blinks twice, all fingerprints are deleted. When the system only has the administrator's fingerprint, press delete and power on key. Then the administrator's fingerprint will be deleted. After power is off, the system will reset to manufacturer's directions.